Hello and welcome to part 9 of this tutorial series. In this part, we are going to discuss calendar interval schedule. Calendar interval schedule does not differ much from daily interval schedule. Besides all the intervals found on daily interval scheduler, this one has some extra methods like with interval in days, weeks, months and years. For this particular schedule, it's important to note these properties. Preserve hour of day across daylight saving. Setting this property to true will tell the scheduler to consider the daylight saving and execute the trigger based on the new time. For example, without the property set, your trigger may have a start time of 9 am on March 1st and a repeat interval of 2 days. But after the daylight saving transition occurs, the trigger may start firing at 8 am every other day. If we set this property to true, then the trigger will continue to fire at 9 am every other day. Set this property if it's important for you that the trigger starts at an exact time. Another important property is skip day if hour does not exist. If this property is set when daylight saving transition happens, if the time the trigger is supposed to be executed does not happen because of the transition, then this execution is skipped. If not set, then the trigger is executed one hour off. You should be using calendar interval schedule if you are scheduling jobs across weeks, months or years. The preserve hour of day across daylight savings and skip day if hour does not exist apply only if the interval is one day or greater. To set the calendar interval schedule, we have to use the with calendar interval schedule method. Let's give it a daily schedule. If we want to preserve hour of day across daylight savings, we use the method preserve hour of day across daylight savings. And if we want to skip day if hour does not exist, we use the method skip day if hour does not exist. That's it for the calendar interval schedule, we will be talking more about different schedules in the next video.